it's been a go 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 couple of weeks um i said last video two weeks ago that we're not going to make it before christmas we're probably still not going to but it's been huge progress so i'm up here in uh, our bedroom the my favorite room the one that i think has had the biggest transformation and um yesterday my wife had a marathon painting session with a kind of a cream white on the wall so now yeah everything's nice and even and uh, it's nice contrast between the the oak the oiled oak and the um, half timbered panels and whatever and i uh, got the window sills in just a couple of days ago so the kind of mini window sills and these little uh, gable windows tiny little things and then uh, and the dormer a big wide it's over half a meter deep uh still there so i can sit on and have a look out into the center of the village but yeah this is pretty cool so uh all that needs to be done here now is get the the lights in and get the covers on the sockets there's me there hello and uh you get the floors in and then this room's actually done um doors wise there was a door here um with, made out of just basically planks and a kind of a, I think the term is a cassette uh, lock on it. And that's still in the barn. It got dropped by one of the guys who were fitting the heating and uh, cracked, but maybe I'll try and do a job and not put it back. So, you know, it's not gonna be exactly major soundproofing or anything, but uh, I think it's fine. It'll save us uh, a few bob at least and be original. And uh, nothing else has changed up here really, uh, except yesterday. Then a very slow day for me. Um, finally got the kind of yeah plasterboard work and the framework finished for the kind of roof bit over the you know, over the dormer window. So uh, actually today Sunday again I shouldn't be doing this type of thing on Sunday they say, but um, we really need to get a head start on uh, on some of the the clay stuff and um, getting the little switch boxes in. So. I've been putting this off for so long, I'm going to do it today. Get the switch boxes in at least, let them harden, and then maybe tomorrow uh, just get that plate plastering finished. Then this room just needs uh, yeah, the filling to be done on the walls. And uh, we're ready to start flooring here as well then. And I keep saying we're ready to start flooring because we've also been heavy at it the past couple of weeks. Actually only over three days. Uh, the big change is floors. So the boards arrived uh, just under two weeks ago, I think. Just over two weeks ago. And uh, last weekend, we uh, on this day last week, uh, we got the office done and this room done. Uh, so we're really, really pleased with that. It was a marathon session, I think eight hours to do about 40 square meters. 430 square feet I think and um, yeah it really makes everything feel different to have a proper floor to walk on for change uh, so those two done and uh, the only thing we have to decide about now is uh, the kind of skirting boards and trims so I kind of like the idea of white uh, what I've done here is that the, the skirting boards are um, old floorboards that were upstairs and uh, the last bedroom we just looked at. And uh, I think it's pine. And a good long length, and they've been sitting in the barn for two and a half years or so. Uh, so I took a plane to them and got the, the varnish off them and then used the, uh, the router uh, to put a curved edge on top, just as a template really. If we were doing something proper, we'd put a more uh, yeah, traditional looking, fancier uh, kind of edge on it like beading or something so I painted one white just a satin white and the other just left natural just to kind of get a feel of how how would that look I kind of like the white because it gives a contrast to the the oak floors and it kind of also yeah matches with the windows which are white mm, I kind of feel that the wood I don't know it just makes the the definition between wall and floor less definite and uh, I'm not sure I like it, but at the same time, it's yeah, it's warmer looking, let's say. So we've been <laughs> putting these pieces around in different rooms and taking photos just to kind of get a feel. So here I think it kind of works well with this kind of yellowy 
yellowy tone and in the office which is more kind of a, a deep brown tone that works really well with the white uh, but in the living room I'm not so sure but anyway and then last when was it Monday Monday evening then we Monday night uh, we got the, the back part of the living room done as well so that really makes it complete now we need the skirting and this this room is done um, I could have started this yesterday but I'm missing a countersink <laughs> very sad um, but yeah it doesn't take much time when there's two of us our friend Satya who's like a yeah a treasure um, really kept us going on this and uh, kicked us off you know he shouldn't be doing it uh, so the two of us together hammered through those 40 square meters last week in eight hours and then it was just a few hours to do that this part so yeah I, I could keep going on my own but uh, it's nice working He's got the experience, he's done it many times before, and um, I've got so many other things to do upstairs, so if he's not around, I just keep at that, and this is a two-man job, it's a nice thing to do. And uh, so we had a huge pile here, and that's nearly depleted, so we have another pallet of it, uh, sitting up in our friends, such as uh, store hall. And uh, yeah, we're ready to move upstairs, then we'll get that delivered and then carry them all up. So no other changes really. Okay, got the undercounter lights fitted. Small things like that. Oh yeah, and then the bathroom. Uh, what was that? Nearly two weeks, a week and a half ago, I did the top part of the clay plastering. And um, we've got the tiles for the floor. We've got the tiles for the walls, all bought, sitting in the kitchen there. And that means we'll have um, yeah, tiles at the shower area, going up to the ceiling and then around uh, the back wall behind the toilet and all and the, the front wall we have tiles just above the windowsill level and then here because uh, we can't really hang a, a sink off the off the wall with the clay plaster uh, what we're going to do is put some wood panelling lombare they call it here and uh, put wood panelling there uh, painted white or whatever and then have a freestanding table with a sink sitting on top of it so uh, there's no weight going on the wall or anything. So yeah, we're getting there. Uh, the bathroom won't take that much work, I think. Uh, just puts, finish the underfloor and then uh, we'll maybe get a bit of help for the tiling so that I don't have to think about that. And the rest uh, should be quite easy. So, onwards and upwards.